Uh, my name's Charlotte Davis and I'm one of the English teachers at Seaford Head School. Uh, I'm also in charge of the curriculum for Key Stage 3, so I'm in charge of all the English that you do when you come to us in Year 7 and all the way through Year 8. Okay, so this here is the English learning journey. I know it's a long way away, but just going to discuss with you a bit about what some of the things we do. So when you start here in September, we'll do Private Peaceful. I'm sure lots of you have read Michael Morpurgo at primary school. I'm sure all the teachers have done that with you. And then we do poetry from across the world, a whole range of poems introducing lots of different ideas and, and cultures. Uh, we do a 500 word story competition. Uh, we also do um, Shakespeare, which again, some of you I think might have done at school. And in year seven, we do A Midsummer Night's Dream. So we learn all about fairies and love gone wrong. So very exciting indeed. And then we do some other things. So we do things like some, we look at, you know, we're going to do a bit of a project on, on kind of climate and different ideas. So we do a whole range of things across the year. You'll do some reading skills. So working out what books are telling us and poems. And then you'll do some writing. So you'll do stories and we'll write letters and articles and all sorts of different topics. My name's Mrs Page. Welcome to the History Department. I've been teaching here since 2006, so I might even have taught some of your parents, you never know. Hello, I'm Miss Wilkinson. Welcome to History. I'm a new teacher here at Seaford Head. And I really like teaching history because I find the stories really exciting. I like looking at causes, so understanding why things happened, why big changes happened, and also looking at consequences as well, the results of events or wars or revolutions or exciting events throughout history. I'm Mr Lewis um, and I teach history here at Seaford Head. I have been here for about a year and I absolutely love teaching this school. I feel it's a real privilege to be here teaching history. So in year seven and eight, we've put together what we think is a really interesting curriculum that covers a lot of um, English and British history from the Middle Ages right up until the present day. It would include everything from what life was like in the Middle Ages for an average person right the way through to considering perhaps what it was like um, living in the 1950s and 60s. So you get so much change and diversity. Moi, je m'appelle Madame Barber. Qu'est-ce que j'aime dans la vie J'aime beaucoup la danse, la danse contemporaine, j'aime beaucoup le théâtre, euh, j'aime beaucoup lire, j'aime beaucoup marcher, j'aime beaucoup le sport. En fin du compte, j'aime beaucoup de choses. Ok, so I said, what do I, you asked me what do I like, so I said, I like uh, dance, contemporary dance, I like theatre, I like reading, I like walking, I like sport. In fact, I like lots of things. And do you like uh, teaching French as well Oui, évidemment. J'adore le français et j'adore uh, être prof de français. I love French, I love teaching French and spreading the kind of the flame of why it's good to learn languages and why it's good particularly to learn French. Uh, at the end of year seven, we do a whole project on French fashion. Um, there's some examples on the board of some uh, students work there and they have a choice to either do this as a French magazine, a magazine in French, or to make a film even about fashion in French. So we have um, opportunities to do quite creative work. Study. In Year 7 you'll study my life, free time activities, school and school subjects, family and friends, and cities, towns and things to do. In Year 8 you'll study holiday, technology, music and TV, food meals and food shopping, favourite activities and future plans. Who, who teaches this subject? Senorita Pina y Senor Patinato. What does a typical week look like? Hello, welcome. My name is Mr Ulla and I teach computer science here at Seaford Head School. We have some excellent facilities here at Seaford Head School. We have access to two IT rooms fitted with 32 machines in each room, along with access to printers and headphones if needed for projects. These rooms can be booked out for other subjects too. Students have access to the LRC, which can be used at break and lunch should students need additional support or somewhere to access a computer. We also have laptop banks that can be booked for different lessons around school. Now, we like to give students as much experience as possible here at Seaford Head School, especially in computer science, by getting them to use a wide range of software. This helps give them a taste of what it's like learning technical skills in a variety of different areas. In Year 7, we cover Scratch, which is a blocks editor coding program that teaches students the basic fundamentals of coding. Students design and create their own games using sequence, selection and iteration loops when programming their interactive games. 
Hi guys, welcome to the P department. We are going to go and have a look at the sports hall and the facilities that we have here um, to have loads of different indoor games. Hi guys, I'm Mrs Brennan, I'm part of the PE department here at Safe Ted. You find yourself now in the sports hall. As you can see, we've got some students in today doing some sport. They're doing some basketball, some badminton, some table tennis, but that's not all you can do here. We do volleyball, we do netball, we also have outside lets, so we have cricket nets in here some nights. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Temple, Head of Dance. Come and check out our dance studio at Seaford Head School, this way. The dance studio at Seaford Head where all the fun happens, from dance to gymnastics, maybe a bit of exercise to music, get the blocks out, do some step aerobics, boxercise, zumba, a whale of a time you'll have in here. Learn skills, have fun, and enjoy it every single second. Hi, I'm here at the pool. So whether you're a doggy paddler or an Olympic swimmer, be certain to get your swimming lessons in, in year seven. We do swimming, strokes, water polo, and personal survival. Be great to see you. So as you can see, this is our climbing wall. Amazing. Climbing up the wall, abseiling down, you learn every technique to ensure that you're safe and having a fun time along the way. The equipment's all here for you, from harnesses to belay plates, carabiners, the rope that attaches you and stops you slipping, and of course, safety first, the helmet. Your year seven child will do three technology rotations, namely food tech, resistant materials and graphics over the course of the year. As you can see, I'm in the food room where we have lots of good equipment. It's very airy and well spaced out and it's a very pleasant environment for the students to work in. When they're here, they'll learn a variety of skills plus safe food practices and they'll get to work in pairs and cook a range of things over the period of uh, 12 weeks. They will also do some theory work and learn about basic food hygiene, basic nutrition and food choices. They will also learn a little bit about international cuisine. Um, the students usually have to bring something from home, but we tend to provide all the staple foods such as dry foods, etc. And to do this, we ask you to pay a small contribution towards DT. Um, we look forward to welcoming your Year 7 child into our department next year.
I'm Sarah Barnes, I am the Key Stationery Science Coordinator here at Seaford Head. During your time here you will have approximately two science teachers across your science lessons. Within those lessons you will address a number of subjects within biology, chemistry and physics and we will try and get in as much practical as possible. Hello, I'm Candy Skeen, I'm the leader of science at Seaford Head School and I'm really sad not to be able to welcome you in person to our open evening. I'd like to introduce you to our fantastic team. We have 17 science teachers, full-time and part-time. They are all science graduates, a mixture of physicists, chemists, biologists and psychologists. Hello, my name is Tom Clements and I and two other wonderful science teachers here at Seaford Head actually were students like you guys are going to be. And we came back here because we love the department and our time here so much that we're now teaching science. In philosophy and ethics, you will study four major world religions in Year 7. Christianity, Judaism, Islam and Buddhism. Then in Year 8, you'll begin the GCSE course. We focus on two faiths, Hinduism and Christianity, and you will get to study philosophical questions about the beliefs and also moral issues, including the environment, crime and punishment and medical ethics. My name is Mr Grover and I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the course and some of the opportunities you can expect to have here in the art rooms in your first year at Seaford Head. So the first thing that you do is be given a sketchbook. Now a sketchbook is an important piece of equipment for you because it's where you would do your drawings to practice your techniques, it's where you'll do your homework, it's where you will experiment. So if I just show you some of the outcomes that we have from each project, so for a term one, our mixed media project, a student here has developed their drawings that they did in their sketchbook and into a more interesting and vibrant design just by using a different material for each section. This then leads into our painting project where students learn about colour theory and what they learn and what they use they can apply to creating something more vibrant or more imaginative such as this. Oh hello and welcome to Seaford Head Geography. Come and find out what we can do. We offer the opportunity to study geography from year 7 all the way through to year 13. Interested in our world? Then geography is a subject for you. We look at everything from towns to cities to how natural hazards pose a risk to our entire planet. Come to Seaford and we'll study the foundations of geography in year 7 and year 8. We're going to look at map skills, we're going to look at people and places in the UK, we're going to look at weather and climate and so much more. We work on building you as a well-rounded geographer so that one day you can come out like Sir David. Come to Seaford and let's explore geography together. My name is Mr Gainsford and I'm in charge of maths at Key Stage 3 at Seaford Head School. We do a lot of different things in Key Stage 3 and we have some Year 8 pupils coming up to show you all the different topics and activities we attempt at this school. Awesome algebra. Beautiful big maths. Crafty cube. Difficult division. Exciting exponentials. Functional fun. General geometry. Hard work. Interesting integers. Just great fun. Killer questions. Lovely logarithms. Remarkable exam results. Remarkable exam results. And by the way, remarkable exam results. Operations. Questions. Squares, square numbers, square roots. Completing the square. Transformations. Understanding. Vectors. X, Y. And zillions of ideas and discoveries here at Seaford Head.